Good day, students. My name is Mrs. Oludipe Odubolanle Oluremi. I am your mathematics teacher for this session. And the topic to be treated is Variation Part 2, Lesson Objective. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to 1. Define joint and partial variations. 2. Solve problems involving joint and partial variations. 3. Apply variations to physical laws and real life solution. Enjoy the lesson. Variation. Recall that variation is a term that refers to the relationship between two or more quantities in which a change in one quantity results in a change in the other or others. A quantity in the relationship which never change in value is called a constant of variation. In the study of variation part 1, we studied direct and indirect or inverse variations. Now, we shall treat joint and partial variations. Joint variation. Joint variation involves more than two variables. In most cases, it is a combination of direct and inverse variation of two or more variables. Example 1. What's the 2011 question 13a? P varies directly as Q and inversely as the square of R. If P is equal to 1, when Q is equal to 8 and R is equal to 2, find the value of Q when P is equal to 3 and R is equal to 5. Solution. P varies directly as Q and inversely as the square of R. P is equal to K times Q times 1 all over R square, where K is equal to constant. P is equal to KQ all over R square, equation 1. When P is equal to 1, Q is equal to 8, and R is equal to 2. Therefore, 1 is equal to K times 8 all over 2 square. Cross multiply the equation. 2 square times 1 is equal to 8k. 4 is equal to 8k. Divide both sides by 8. 4 over 8 is equal to 8k over 8. 1 over 2 is equal to k. Substitute 1 over 2 for k in equation 1. Therefore, p is equal to q all over 2 r square is the relation from above q is equal to p 2 p r square when p is equal to 3 r is equal to 5 q is equal to unknown q is equal to 2 times 3 times 5 square therefore q is equal to 150 example 2 What's a 2005 question 6C? X, Y, and Z are related such that X varies directly as the cube of Y and inversely as the square of Z. If X is equal to 108, when Y is equal to 3 and Z is equal to 4, find Z when x is equal to 4000 and y is equal to 10. Let's go on a short break. You are welcome back. Solution. x varies directly as a cube of y 
and inversely as the square of z. x is equal to k times y cube times 1 all over z square, where k is a constant. x is equal to k y cube over z square. When x is equal to 108, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to 4. 108 is equal to k bracket 3 cube all over 4 square. 108 is equal to 27k all over 16. Cross multiply the equation. 27k is equal to 108 times 16. Divide both sides by 27. 27k all over 27 is equal to 108 times 16 all over 27. K is equal to 4 times 16. K is equal to 64. The relationship is X is equal to 64Y cube all over Z square. To find Z, when X is equal to 4000 and Y is equal to 10. In the relation, X is equal to 64Y cube all of a set square. 4000 is equal to 64 times 10 cube all over z square. 4000 times z square is equal to 64 times 1000. 4000 z square is equal to 64,000. Divide both sides by 4000. 4000 z square over 4000 is equal to 64,000 over 4,000. Z square is equal to 16. Find the square root of both sides to get Z. Square root of Z square is equal to square root of 16. Therefore, Z is equal to plus or minus 4. Partial Variation this is a relationship consisting of two or more parts added together. Two or more constants are usually necessary. The value of these constants are generally found out by solving simultaneous equations. However, when a variation is expressed as a sum of terms, we refer to that type of variation as partial. For instance, y is equal to k plus ax. Reads, y is partly constant and partly varies as x. The letter a is a constant of variation. If we introduce same to k, say p, then we will have pk. But constant multiplied by a constant is also a constant. Thus, we do not apply another constant to a constant as we do to variables. The statement T varies partly as R and partly as inverse of X is represented as T is equal to AR plus P times 1 over S. Example 1. Wasser 2008 question 31. If x varies as bracket 45 plus 1 over 2y, which of the following is true? A. S varies directly as y. B. S varies inversely. C. X is partly constant and partly varies as y. D. X varies jointly as 45 and directly as Y. Solution. The key is C. Meet you after the timeout. You are welcome back. Example 2. What's a 2015 question 6B? The cost C of producing M bricks 
is the sum of a fixed amount, h and variable amount y, where y varies directly as n. If it costs 950 Ghana cities to produce 600 bricks and 1,030 Ghana cities to produce 1,000 bricks, 1. Find the relationship between C, H, and N. 2. Calculate the cost of producing 500 bricks. Solution. From the first statement, C is partly constant and partly varies as Y. C is equal to H plus Y. From the second statement, Y varies directly as N. Y is equal to K times N, where K is a constant. Y is equal to KN. Substitute KN for Y in equation C is equal to H plus Y. Therefore, C is equal to H plus KN. 1. C is equal to H plus KN. When C is equal to 950, N is equal to 600. 950 is equal to H plus 600 K. Equation 1. When C is equal to 1030, N is equal to 1000. 1030 is equal to H plus 1000 K. Equation 2. Subtracting equation 1 from 2, we have 80 is equal to 400 K. 400 K is equal to 80. Divide both sides by 400. 400 K over 400 is equal to 80 over 400. K is equal to 1 over 5. Therefore, K is equal to 0 0.2. Substitute 0 0.2 for K in equation 1. 950 is equal to H plus 600 K. 950 is equal to H plus 600 times 0 0.2. 950 is equal to H plus 120. Subtract 120 from both sides to get the value of H. 950 minus 120 is equal to H plus 120 minus 120. 830 is equal to H. Substitute 830 for H and 1 over 5 for K in the equation. C is equal to H plus KN. Therefore, C is equal to 830 plus 1 over 5N is the relation. 2. Cost of producing 500 bricks. C is equal to 830 plus 1 over 5 times 500. C is equal to 830 plus 100. Therefore, C is equal to 930 Ghana CDs. Practice questions. 1. Check Wase 1999 Theory Question 10 2014 Question 16 and 2017 Question 2 2. Check NECO 2005 Question 37 2013 Theory Question 7b Thank you for listening. Bye for now.